What's up guys, we're in downtown San Diego and today we're going to be shooting with the Sony 18-105 F4 lens. Never shot street photography with that, we're going to see what we get. About to strap on a GoPro, you guys know how it goes. Let's go! early to come and shoot downtown imagining there was gonna be a badass sunrise but it's super cloudy uh, the sunrise already passed it's already 652 we've been shooting for about 30 minutes um, nothing really special so far so let's keep going hopefully we get that banger shot let's go So we got some shots, but there was something I wanted to talk to you guys about. Remember how I mentioned I got a studio with my buddy? Well, it's been really, really slow. And I wanted to talk about this because I feel like some people think it's so easy or we have made, I don't know. Just wanted to make it clear that it is hard, you know? We've been emailing a lot of people. Sometimes we don't even get an answer back, but it's part of the hustle and that's the only way we're gonna grow. So I wanted to share this. Hopefully a year from now, I can look back at this and remember how hard it was, but I'll be there. We'll be there. All right, guys, let's keep making photos. Alright guys, so we're back. It's been about two days since we went out shooting and I wanted to touch up on some things on the lens. Uh, I know I just did the photos and that's ultimately what I wanted to do. That's why I kind of called it a vlog. This lens feels really, really good. The build quality of it is really, really nice. I actually got this lens because I shoot a lot of videos sometimes and I figured I needed a good all around lens. Although this is only a four, but it goes 18 to 105 and the zooming in is all internal. So that always used to bug me when I used to shoot with my Sigma 1750 on my Canon, where the zooming would actually move the lens and sometimes it would kind of throw the gimbal off, get those micro jitters, but I mean, you can see them on the videos. Now this lens, I rarely, rarely use this lens. I think I used it once at a conference where I needed to get at that 100 millimeter focal length. That was about it. Other than that, I mean, I shoot with my Sony 24 millimeter 1.8 lens. I always have that on my camera. And my 50 millimeter 1.8, 30 millimeter 1.8, the 16 1.4. I mean, having that extra aperture on those lenses really, really helps out because this only goes down to an F4. And that really makes a huge difference when you're taking photos. But I will say, I think the lens is worth it being that it has that huge range, the 18-105. It's really nice to have that 105 and an F4, it's not that bad. And I'm talking about bokeh because you know I'm that little bokeh whore. <laughs> I mean, it's nice to have the bokeh, but F4, 18-105, it's a very versatile lens. One pet peeve that I had from shooting with this thing street photography is that the zooming takes forever. It is very slow. You don't have that motion where you know you move it fast and it just zooms in real quick unless i didn't i didn't play with the rings actually i just check it actually does zoom in fast if you use the ring instead of this little button right here i'm just gonna cut that part out of this so the lens is pretty cool um i wanted to make this as a street photo vlog since i've had a done a couple photo vlogs where I just go down to downtown and do some photos. You guys seem to really enjoy when I photograph somebody and do a short modeling video. So I will be doing that with this lens. So stay updated for it. Uh, if you're watching this in the future, it will be right there. 
linked right there. Anyways, that's all I really have for you today. Yeah. If you guys like this type of video, let me know. Uh, this is a little bit different. I did the photo vlog mix with the kind of lens review-ish. This is the first hands-on review. I will be leaving my Amazon affiliate link down in the description below. So if you buy that, you're helping out the channel and I really, really appreciate you. This is the third time I applied for the affiliate program. So let's hope they accept me finally. Anyways, that's all I got. Stay tuned for the next video. Don't forget to give it a like if you like this video and subscribe for the future content, guys. I'm gonna see you on the next video. But just wanted to keep you guys updated on this. So yeah, let's go. Uh.